Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farms. It is now late December. Now, you didn't get to see it, but we had a little bit of snow overnight as I slept. There's the screen shoe snow. Now, it does look like we've got a little bit of a frosting on the grass, which is a nice little touch, as I like to say. But today, we have jobs to do. We can't just be in admiring the scenery. I'm just going to shut, shut, shut this shut up. Shut this shed up, and we'll do the other side when we get around there as well. So, on today's list of jobs, uh, it wasn't massive, but it can be quite time consuming. We are going to get some more hay in our robot, and then we're going to get um, some more silage in the robot as well, but then we're going to sell some because, you know, money stuff. We don't we currently need all the silage we've got and come spring we're going to be cutting that grass hopefully late spring maybe and getting some more because <laughs> we've got a ton i say a ton i use the term ton a lot i don't mean that as a literal metric measure i just mean that as we have got a lot in here what are we doing uh three six nine twelve 12, 24, 48. We've got 50 bales at 9,000 litres each. That's a lot. So we've got a lot. We've got a lot of hay. We just need to get it in the feed. I don't want to run away from it. I need the tractor. So I'm going to start by getting. I'd say probably as, as many as it'll take, really. In there. How well this goes, you know what. You never know. You just never know. So before I mess it up, give the video a big fat thumbs up tell YouTube you like it. Because that's going to help me out and that'll let more people see me mess it up. It all helps. It all helps. The thing is, you don't have to be perfect. You just got to be a little bit entertaining with it. And I think too often, I try and get things perfect. It's nice and warm in there with the cows, with that red hue. Very nice. Now, I'm not going to go over all the hoo-ha that we had before the last episode. Uh, hopefully you watched it and you know what we've been through and what we've done to get where we're at. And to those that do, I hope you appreciate the work we're putting in here. Another reason to hit that thumbs up. So let's just check, make sure that's filling. It is. Now, I can't remember if I've switched it on, but I am running a increased capacity mod for the site of the um, production sites. So if we sell that to them, we can get more in there before it's full and stops t uh, taken. In fact, I don't think it fills. I think with this mod, selling is selling and filling to produce is, is filling to produce, so they shouldn't fill until you buy them. Now I don't know if that has in any way, shape or form changed the capacity of anything else with regards to the feeder and things like that. I hope not. I don't, I don't want this to be like an endless pit that we're filling. I am wondering if that's why my fills look different from when I filled them. I don't, know, I don't need to watch it, it's going to fill. Let's just see how much we have got actually. So hey, 62,000. Straw, we've got nearly 100,000. Silage, we've got 200,000. I don't think we're going to get a lot more silage in there. I can't remember what we got in there before. Uh, but hay, we need to get a lot in there because it takes double silage, double hay. Um, if it's still work, if the robot still works to the same ratio as what I would fill uh, a manual mixer, then you want twice as much hay as you do everything else. But it should last us because the robot will only use what it needs. Um, for that hour. Well, 
wasn't sure. I thought we were going to clip another one. So I think I'll probably continue on with this, and uh, rather than time lapse and everything, I'll bring you in sort of as I'm happy with the level. Bale uh, 13 and 14, I believe, looking at the stack. Uh, that should give us around about 150, 152,000 litres of hay. Um, just doing some quick math there, I might be wrong. We'll have a look. I like having a look, I like checking. 152,666. Not bad. Sometimes I can guesstimate quite well. So I think that'll be plenty to get us through till spring. Like I say, if not, there is hay in the uh, feed trough as well. So next up is to uh, fill silage compartment. And for that job, we're going to want our wheel loader. Our class Torian 1511. It's quite a beast. Now sometimes I'm really good with this now, and sometimes I'm still really, really sh shit, I guess, any word I can think of right now. Bad. I'm really bad with it, children. Boys and girls. Right. Why didn't that open the clamp for me? Okay. Do I need to open it manually? Oh, it's not actually registering that we got the silage in here. You dirty, dirty bastard. Well, I thought because that was still visible that it was registering. It's not. So from when I had to replace the placeables, although it's kept the information that there was silage here, it's not telling me there's silage here. But there's 250,000 litres of silage here. So now we have <laughs> an empty bunker ready to fill again in the spring. But in doing that, we've lost all of our silage. So to counter that, to rectify that, in here I have loaded up 120,000 litres of silage on top of what we already had. So this put us up to 370,000 litres. But we had 250, or nearly 260,000 litres in there, I believe. So that's still less than half of what was in there. And then, if we run around, because I couldn't load silage back in, um, I could only put chaff in, and if we put chaff in, we'd have to wait for that to ferment again. And although we've not got a lot to do, um, I wanted to do this today. So in here, we have 115,000 litres of silage. And in the back of the trailer, another 35,000 litres of silage. I think that's right. Um, is that right? 30, 60, 90, 100, 105, not 115, 105,000 litres. And then that in there anyway we have four four trailer loads in there and this will give us a combined four trailer loads here we have 120 
I think, thousand liters somewhere, something like that. So that'll give us two hundred forty thousand liters. So we're still shy of about fifteen, maybe twenty thousand liters. But <laughs> I've got the silage back. The bunkers there. I didn't have to remove anything. Didn't have to do anything. Just had to be smart with it. So again, that's on me. I, did, I should have checked that. I just saw that the texture was there and just assumed it had maintained, which was silly of me. Now we've sold a lot of feed to, or a lot of hay to the animal market. So let's go uh, sell them our silage. And uh, yeah, we'll have to load this up ourselves here when we come back. And I'll tr I'll try and show a bit of the loading. It's, uh, it's a good one to do, I think. It's not always easy. Like I say, I don't always have the best wheel loader skills. I'm hoping this is going to make us a bit of money. I haven't checked the, the financial side of this, but I like to take it there. Um, I want to try and get a good uh, eco score on the farm as well now, since that's a thing. So I th I'm not sure. I, th I hope that by feeding the uh, or selling it at the animal feed for the uh, animal dealer is good uh, economics and uh, environment score. I think is what it is. Yeah, it's good for the environment score. That's what I'm hoping. Um, taking things to the biomass, apparently isn't good. S selling, selling your straw bales at biomass is negative. But I didn't pay enough attention to see if we got a positive or a minus for our hay. I was only just then thinking of it, so it might not have said at all. There may be no score for this. Feed is feed. Possibly. But let's do our first unload. I promise not to chat all the way and, uh, and not, not drag this out. But the financials are going up. We're not quite healthy as well. Good time to sell. Oh wow. And it is a good uh, environmental score. Look at that. Plus 352 environmental score. And uh, 20 grand. And we've got another three of these. We're looking at 80 grand for the day off this. Despite the hassle that it's been. It's never easy at the minute. Hopefully, we've got the map, we've got everything sorted out. I'm not updating it anymore. <laughs> it's, uh, it's staying as it is. So, let's get loading. This one will be our third unload, 
and another smooth 30 grand, 30, 20 grand coming our way. Let's not be uh, over presumptuous there. I don't think it's going to have gone up that much. There we are. All that lovely money. It'll bring us to 165. 166 and another 352 for the environment score not fully to grips with what that is but that is uh, it's nice it's something that's going up uh, and we're doing well at so we'll take that so if if I worked everything out right what's left in that uh, loose storage should uh, fit this trailer for our final sale but as with uh, how things have been going lately, and my history of judging numbers and quantities, I could have this completely wrong. We shall see. So all this in that trailer. I mean, if there's a little bit extra, it's not too bad. I just stick it around in the uh, robot feeder. I tried to get it right. I tried to do math. I really did. Now, also, if you're quite new and you haven't watched the uh, the back catalogue of this series, I am fully aware that my trailer is too big to dump in, which is a shame. What we need is like some extended uh, high bucket or something. I'm sure there's probably a mod out there that'll uh, allow me to uh, get a higher reach. I just haven't found it yet. Not even pointing down on the tines, am I? Come on. There we are. Pick that up, boy. Lovely job. What's gone wrong? I was still dragging it. That's full. always make a mess of it as soon as I start commentating. Commentating. Like the F1. Not quite. Lovely, lovely. If I get the angle right and the tip in right, it doesn't look so bad. It's just sometimes I don't quite get my angle right and we, uh, we pull the trailer much more than uh, we really need to. I think I've done it. I think I got it right. At least the uh, what do we call that? Some sort of silage fork. This silage fork is about the right size to fit in through the top. So in that sense, it doesn't look too ridiculous. I mean, it doesn't look the best. Oh, I've certainly seen worse. I've certainly done worse. But we'll try and scoop that last lot up and get in as well. We should take it. It's four and a bit of these um, silage forks. So. The rest of that should fit in there perfect. Fact. Unless we've lost some somewhere along the way. Again, always a possibility. You just never know. Last time round, we had a little bit of leak through the back wall, so if there is any missing. That'll be uh, sitting in the grass around the other side. And there that can stay. Moment of truth. Well, it's all in off the fork. Is it a full trailer? Do -do 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 -do. 
95%. I've lost 5% of my silage. <laughs> right, I'm going to jump this bush. Did it come through the wall? It did. It came through the wall. <laughs> 5%. Never mind. We'll, uh, next time we hook the uh, Putinger up, we'll uh, uh, we'll scoop that up by the feeder. <laughs> so we might not get our 20 grand this delivery. Might just be 19,000, but that'll be fine. Still brings up to 180. Cool, 180 grand in the bank. I don't think we've ever been that rich, have we? Apart from maybe when we... <laughs> when we had that day where we sold the dog and sold the horse stables. I'm not sure if it was really necessary to sell the dog. That was, we were desperate for cash. We were going to get two grand for it, so that happened. Uh, no, I think there were one or two comments <laughs> about it. But you know what? He went to a better home. Poor thing. I think in its year on the farm, it only got fed twice, so... We don't stop for traffic. Traffic stops for us. I think other than obviously the clamp not working properly to start with, I think that went pretty smooth with everything I had to do. Hopefully uh, it, it doesn't look too shabby when I put it all together. This is not how I intended it to go. We were supposed to just drive in, lift the sheet up and load our trailer. Yeah, there's every chance that it saved us quite a bit of time to be fair because it would have been four hours loading and unloading just to fill the robot and then four hours to do this sale run or three hours however long it's been it's been a while maybe not three or four hours maybe two and a half hours but either way we'd have had to have done that just to load up and do so we saved a minute or two somewhere along the lines I'm sure so for our last one do a little uh, our cabby. I'd like to try and not have the uh the symbols. Will we hit the 180? We do, we surpass it. 19,166, so that's not too bad at all. And another 335 to our environmental score. So not a bad day's work, really. And uh, I think since we've made the good money, uh, we don't need to go out and do a job for someone else. I think we can uh, take it easy. Maybe have two months off. January, February. And in March, get out there and look after our arable field. That's sort of the plan. Maybe even come back late February to get the field set up. See what we've got manure wise. That'd probably be a wise idea. Get the manure down, and then we can sow it um, in March. So we can have, what's that, a six week holiday over Christmas. The cows will be fed by the robot. The milk will be collected, and the manure will be building. I don't think the grass died off, which is strange. I'm sure the grass is supposed to die off, so maybe that'll die off a little bit later on. Although it looked like theirs might have died off. Unless there's some crop that's growing in there. It's only indicator off. It is much nicer coming down here with these walls though. Glad they're back. You know, I was happy to live with it with them being gone, but oh dear. <laughs> oh dear dear. We're having venison for dinner tonight. Venison for Christmas. So yeah, some of the mishaps have helped I think with the aesthetics, some of the mishaps have not helped with uh, my productivity in getting the content out. But nonetheless, it's all good. We're getting through it, people. And uh, you guys watching and liking and sharing and commenting is uh, really helping to make it all worthwhile. I can assure you of that. So let's just get this put away. We're not going to need it for a little while. Not until our next big sale. Probably won't be until the summer, and then it won't be worth as much. That can go in here. Turn the engine off. 
And I do believe that is all I've got to do today since we're not going to go get a contract. Hopefully I'll be able to put that together and that won't drag out for as long as it's took me to do it. Um, so that's the end of today's video guys. If you've enjoyed it, please big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Let me know what you think. Uh, sorry about the whole silage incident. That should be working fine from now. Like I say, we don't cheat extras in when we have problems. We uh, we short ourselves on it. We lost 20,000 litres, which today would have been about 16 grand. So that was quite a bit. I've got to fix some textures that I have got to do. Uh, so yeah, you guys have yourselves. I want. Oh, the dog's back. Oh yeah, I nearly ran it over, didn't I? The dog's back. There you go, mate. Have some food. We've got a new dog. We got a new dog for Christmas, apparently. Lovely job. Let's uh, let's try and keep this one a little bit longer. I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.